Hi everyone, my name is Angela and this is my YouTube channel about cross stitching called Angela Stitches and today I thought I would make a video about my Wonderland piece by Brooks Books on Etsy. Um, every time I post something about this piece on Instagram or make a video about it on YouTube, I always get a lot of questions about who the designer is and where I got the chart from or how I laid out all the characters in one fabric. So I thought I would answer those questions today. But before that, I just want to mention real quick about the fabric that I used for Stone Roses by Mirabilia. Um, this is a fabric called, it's a fabric by Zweigart and it's called Vintage Stormy Clouds. Um, I think I mentioned that in my other videos that this was 28 count, but it's actually 32 count. Um, so I got those fabrics where it's already cut and packaged and that was the only kind that they had in the store that I go to which is a Korean shop so they didn't have a larger piece of this fabric but um, fortunately this design fit into this size fabric which is 18 inch by 27 inch so the design itself the size was 9.5 inch by 23 inch or 23 and a half inch. So this is the back side of the Stone Roses chart. So nine and a half inch by 23 and a half inch. So, so the fabric was perfect for this design, except for there's not a lot of margin on top and the bottom. So I started from the top and I was really nervous the whole time that I might run out of fabric, but I, didn't so that was a good sign so I think this is actually it's only one and a half maybe of margin but on the sides um, I wasn't really worried because there's a lot of room here so this is actually about a little over four inches so that's I feel like I was really comfortable with it, it was only the top and bottom that I was nervous about. So on the bottom is a little bit over two inches, two and a half inch. So I feel like this is um okay amount of margin, but usually I have, if you um, stick around and see my Wonderland piece, there's a lot of margin on the sides because I used to get really nervous about the margin. So I left a lot of margin in my other pieces. So this is my Wonderland piece that I wanted to talk to you about, about the layout and everything. Um, so this is a designer by, or a design by Brooks Books Publishing on Etsy. I'll put a link up here, but I'll also put a link down in the description box below. Um, if you don't know how to find that, it's actually right below the title of the video and on top of the comment section so it's right in between there and there's a plus more click button if you click that button you'll the box will open up and then you'll see all the information that i put in there so i hope you find that and check her website or her etsy shop she also has a lot of other disney inspired um princess gown series which is really pretty i think i did three of those i think i did the snow white cinderella and bell and then i also got the paper perforated paper ornaments which are really pretty so like i said earlier i have a lot of margin here and that's about four inches of margin on each side on every side actually so this is a fabric called denim jobelin and it's an even weave and it's the called for fabric for this chart um so this chart is actually sold separately all 12 of them but I decided to do this all in one piece. So like I said in my other videos, I'm doing four characters and three rows. So to fit all of the characters in one piece, I calculated all of the stitch count. I actually wrote it down right here next to it. But the largest or the longest design is actually the caterpillar, which is 122 in height. So I made sure that that was gonna fit into the row that I just or laid out for, so I did tw 128 stitch or count in height of each row, 
So I multiply that by 3, so 384 stitches. And then all of the designs were 70, in, or 70 stitches across. So I multiply that by 4, so it's 280 stitches. And I put those numbers into the 1 to 3 stitch website where you can um, calculate the stitch count to the fabric size. And I got 20 inches by 28 inches. So that's why I got the 27 inch by 36 inch fabric of this um, denim jobolin. So um, like you see here, the caterpillar is 122 um, stitches in height. So there's actually six stitches um, extra. So there's a little bit of room in between each row and that's about six inches or six, six stitches. So that's how I laid out my piece. And so side by side, I don't, I didn't leave any room. I didn't leave out any stitches. So everything is all connected. That's why I did 70 stitches or 70 multiplied by four without any extra stitches. As in here, I did maybe, it's different in every piece, but from the largest one, I added six more stitches so that's why it became 128. So like the short one, like the Queen of Hearts, that's only 102. So for that one, it's actually about 26 stitches more room than the other ones. Um, I hope that makes sense. So that's how I laid out my piece. I also contemplated on getting the 32 count, but they didn't, I don't think they had this fabric in 32 count. That's why I just stuck with the 28 count fabric. So if you have any more questions about this piece, let me know in the comments. I think I covered most of the questions that I get usually, but um, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to help you. Um, thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!